And here we are at the Houses of Parliament at the RHA's third play on fuel and there have literally been hundreds of people here to protest against the fuel duty and also there'll be plenty of trucks. Kate Kidd with you, who's the Head of Communications for the RHA. Kate, happy with the turnout? Yeah, thrilled to bits. Good turnout and shows just the strength of feeling in the industry for how badly hauliers are doing at the moment. Yeah, and we're not very happy with the fuel duty, are we? No, it's, it's absolutely dreadful. It, it is crippling. And for many drivers here today, we've, we're having reports of about 600 up on the Westway. For many, it is a, a real last cry for help. You know, there are some hauliers up there this week, today, who may not be around next week. Yeah, I think people have got to realise how important the transport industry is to them. Absolutely, and the great thing about today is in addition to the, uh, the convoy of trucks going through town, we've also had a tremendous turnout for the lobby group here, back to basics, getting members to speak to their MPs face to face. By the time the last truck pulls out of town tonight, there won't be a single member at the, in Westminster who is not aware of the situation facing the industry. And how do you feel we're getting on as, a, as an industry with the MPs? Do you think we're starting to make progress or do you think you're still ignoring it? I think we are starting to make progress. Uh, the majority of members over there this afternoon who are visiting their MPs have contacted them beforehand. The response has been overwhelming. They've all been welcomed with open arms. Yes, please come and see us. Please come and talk about it. And I think the other great thing about today is the fact that we've got so many groups. It really has been a day of united action. Yeah, I think... And that's... We couldn't ask for more. And do you think we... What's our next step? Where do we move as an industry in terms of influencing uh, MPs and we've got Parliament? To keep up, we've got to keep up the pressure. You know, we've... we've uh, the um, momentum is really, really building on this one. And let's hope that, you know, this time, this is... Uh, we, we, this is the third dispute fuel protests we've seen in the past couple of months. Let's keep everything crossed that this is third time lucky. Okay, brilliant. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks for your time. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, here we have Peter Carroll, who's a member of the Transaction Group. Peter, how's it been going today? It's been a great day today for a couple of reasons. First, the RHA and Transaction and the Transport Association, at last, are all coming together, pooling their resources and putting on what's been a great day. The second thing that's good about today is that we feel there's a, at least a listening going on now. We have had a meeting with the Shadow Conservative team on transport. Later this afternoon we're meeting the Road Transport Minister, Jim Fitzpatrick, and there's the first few signs that maybe the people in that building are beginning to listen. Yeah, I think you're right in that, the fact that the industry at least is working together now yes. instead of being a little bit fractionalised, and I think that's the important thing. How many people have we had here today? I think I'm getting reports from the A40 Westway of somewhere between 500 and 600 vehicles, which is a colossal amount. Yeah. Uh, here today, perhaps 250 to 300 people going in to lobby their MPs, and that's a really vital thing to do, because I think politicians, however modern the era is, face-to-face -face usually works best. Yeah, I think, do you feel like we're getting a momentum forward, going forward now? Yes, because the situation is dire. I mean, the people I speak to, it, it's heartbreaking to hear people second mortgaging their homes, uh, fearful that vehicles are going to be repossessed, simply can't pass the fuel costs on to customers. To see all that going on is just heartbreaking, and I think that it's also caught the public mood. A member of the public goes to Sainsbury's to fill up with fuel, 75 quid. Even they're feeling the pinch. So it's, it's the issue at the moment. Yeah, I think it was one of the MPs was saying that we should really show the transport costs in with the uh, price, if you like, and, and things like that. Do you think that's a good thing? Um, I think it's very important that people realise what role transport plays. And I think it's even more important that people realise how much the government takes out of our cost that we pay for our fuel. The more people can see a problem, the more they can understand it. The more they understand it, the more likely we're going to get a solution. Yeah. And next step, moving forward, what do we do? My belief is that we really need to increase the political representation of our industry in the House of Commons. I think we need to get an all-party group of MPs formed together to work on behalf of the industry. I've been told in the past that MPs are not interested in transport. To be honest, I don't believe that because we as Transaction have written to many MPs and had positive responses. I think today a lot of people who have seen their MPs are saying, yes, I think he does understand and he understands it's about jobs and British business. So I would like to see that as the next major political development. Brilliant. OK. Thanks very much right. indeed. Thank you.
That's it for our look at the fuel duty protest at Westminster. But of course, being a truck magazine, we thought you might also enjoy looking at a few more trucks. <laughs>